Back in the good old days, I used to fill in storyboards with pieces of paper like this. I'd draw in my little sketches, and I'd fill in like a little description under it. I would then scan the pieces of paper and clean them up to give them to clients. This was slow and dumb. If I wanted to then create an animatic, I had to individually scale all the frames, save those out, and then put them in order in After Effects or Premiere. Updating a storyboard if the client had changes was a slow process because I had to shuffle around all the frames. The only part of the process I actually enjoyed was the drawing on paper part because I love drawing on paper. I just didn't enjoy updating the boards. Later on, I tried other software. I tried Flash. I never really liked the drawing tools in Flash. For some reason, I did this out of habit rather than finding a better solution. For the last month or so, I've been using a piece of software called Storyboarder. It's for Mac, Windows and Linux. The best thing about it is that it's free and it's quite comprehensive. Don't just take my word for it, here's a review from the site. Holy effin' dick but indeed. Here's how it works. At the top, you have a few different drawing tools and a colour palette. If you have a tablet or something like that, it totally works with this. One of the best things about the app though is you don't have to be a good artist to make the storyboards. They figured that out. For one, I can paste in an image and it automatically goes transparent so I can draw over the top. That's great if you use reference images like I do for drawing. Secondly, you can use these sort of preset scene drawings. They're a little limited in some cases, but they're more than enough to get you by. For example, if you need a close-up of a head from a certain angle, you can totally just select some options and then it will, you know, fill it out for you. You can choose options such as where the character's looking, um, their head position. Also, if you prefer drawing in Photoshop, there's a quick link button that will basically create a document in Photoshop where you can draw with all your cool brushes and stuff. Then you just hit save and it'll automatically update in Storyboarder. Every time you make a scene, that particular scene has a properties panel. So you can set the length in frames, any dialogue, or even notes. The thing I like most about this piece of software, it's almost like combining the storyboard and the animatic process. Previously, I would work on a storyboard, get that approved, and then build an animatic, and then get that approved. This whole app is just speeding that whole process up because once you're done, you can actually pump out like a Premiere file that is an animatic with all the shots timed. You can also pump out a PDF if you wanted to show the client or whatever. Storyboard also lets you print out special pages so you can draw on paper, scan those back in and then Storyboarder will automatically update those in your document. The only downside of the app is that if you use the preset drawing tool, which you know, creates characters for you and stuff. You can only control what one character is doing. So new characters are stuck in this like T-pose basically. If you're interested in the software, click on the link in the description. This has been Motion Friend. Have a good day, everyone.